Nickelodeon wasn't there to educate you. We were there to have fun, to get slimed, to be entertained. Former Nickelodeon host Mark Summers says he walked out of his interview on Quiet On Set. How's it going today, folks? Hope you're having an awesome day today. So who exactly is Mark Summers? Well, Mark Summers was actually the host of Nickelodeon's Double Dare. On your mark, hit set, go! Go! A game show consisting of kids, two teams, they do trivia, different activities to try to win for their team. Then Mark moved on to become a very popular host on Food Network's Unwrapped. So fast forward and Mark is invited onto Quiet On Set, but the production team wasn't exactly letting Mark in on the true reason they invited him. So during the Elvis Duran in the morning show, he mentioned to the host that he assumed that this was just gonna be some simple documentary on Nickelodeon, no strings attached. I most recently saw you in Quiet On The Set. Oh my, let me tell you about that. I got called by these folks saying they wanted to do a documentary on Nickelodeon. And so I said, sure. So they leave Mark high and dry on the actual meaning behind why they're doing this documentary. The first 10 or 12 seconds from what I understand this documentary are me saying all these wonderful things. But they did a bait and switch on me. They wow. ambushed me. They never told me what this documentary was really about. No way. And so they showed me a video of something that I couldn't believe was on Nickelodeon. And I said, well, let's stop tape right here. What are we doing? And then they bombard him with all these clips of terrible things that went on behind the scenes. Like, why get him to praise something when you guys know that you're about to show him something horrible? Well, we're doing this thing. Do you know this guy? And all this kind of stuff. And I left. So I got a phone call about six weeks ago saying you're totally out of the show and I went great then they called me about four weeks ago and said well you're in it but you're only in the first part of it because you talked about the uh, positive stuff of Nickelodeon what they didn't tell me and they lied to me about was the fact that they put in that other thing where they had the camera on me when they ambushed me wow. yeah. so Nickelodeon could have easily just let these people know that they're trying to get the good sides and the bad sides of this documentary but I figured they probably thought well if we tell them the truth nobody's gonna want to say any good things in this documentary it'll make their careers look bad so instead they lie to them probably just so they can get an unbiased perspective from everybody but that needs to be fucking disclosed i never and met dan schneider know. when we got done doing double dare and we had run our run those people came in after and took over our studios never met the man have no idea about any of those things so not only was he invited on this thing not knowing what the intentions of the doc were he also was so early on the nickelodeon train he didn't even know freaking dan schneider like the biggest name in nickelodeon entertainment i, I never met any of them i didn't know anybody this well, they is so crazy they right but they made it seem like i knew yep. those people yeah, right did that air on Nickelodeon? They should have said something to you about that. Don't you that. think? Is there anything you can do about that now, or? Well, there's a phone call coming in today at three o'clock. Okay. Oh! I'm assuming he probably didn't know who Brian Peck was either, considering I think that happened later. So there was really no reason for this dude to even be in the documentary. But it sounds to me like there's probably going to be a lawsuit involved. That is pretty insane stuff. Not a good look for the documentary, that's for sure. I mean, a lot of good stuff is coming from the documentary, but it makes you wonder behind the scenes what kind of greedy behavior people are doing. But anyway, all I know is that is the news for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And you guys know the drill. Ta-ta for now.